Good evening, everyone. Welcome to One of Fugitives, your Crime Stopper show. I'm Sergeant Melanie Peterson. And I'm Amber Southard. And we have a great show prepared for you tonight. All new fugitives, all new deadbeat parents. That's it. And, you know, <laughs> we're, we're just uh, moving right along. And with your help and the community's help and all of our tipsters out there, the following fugitives were arrested. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, before we get started, of course, we always, each each time we uh, put out a new show, we always thank our tipsters. But for those of you that have never provided a tip to Crime Stoppers, we want to tell you the three easiest ways to do so. Remember, the great thing about Crime Stoppers is that it's 100% anonymous. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you never will have to give your name. You also mm -hmm. will never have to appear in court. And a lot of people love that. That's one of the best parts is nobody knows who you are. Absolutely. You get to keep that number. Mm -hmm. We like to preach that. And then they get to take money home. I mean. Free money. How easy is that? It, it's, it's the easiest way to earn money, yeah. I think. Legitimately. <laughs> yeah. Legitimately. That's it. <laughs> of course, all of our rewards with Crime Stoppers are up to $3,000. Yes. And again, like we were saying, it's it's anonymous, folks. Mm -hmm. So I can't tell you if you know uh, the location of a wanted fugitive or mm -hmm. information on a crime that has happened yeah. or a crime that you know of that a person may have repeated. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, burglaries, break-ins, sto stolen vehicles, it doesn't matter. We want to know about it. Narcotics as well. Our First and most uh, common use, of course, is our call center, 433-STOP or 433-7867. That call center is 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It's always open, never closes. So you can mm -hmm. call that number. You can also go directly to the Gulf Coast Crime Stoppers website at gulfcoastcrimestoppers.org. And our most favorite way using that app. That's app. It's uh, <laughs> p3tips.com. It's the easiest easiest way to communicate yep. um, if you want to take a picture mm -hmm. or video you can upload it and it's just so user-friendly you yes. can use it on your Android or your iPhone device um, and it's right there in the App Store you can look it up p3 tips go check it out look it up and you get right on in there it's it's right on your phone yep. you can communicate right from it you can take pictures if you're you're out and about in town you know um, maybe in a grocery store somewhere downtown walking and you're like you know what, I think I saw Sergeant Peterson and Amber talk about this person. I think I've seen them somewhere. Maybe it was the Wheel of Fugitives. Maybe it was Wanted Fugitives. Um, maybe you just saw them on the Escambia County Sheriff's Office Facebook page or the Pensacola Police Officer Facebook page or Crime Stoppers Facebook page. we got so many ways of getting you out there. That's right. A billboard. <laughs> <laughs> Kiosk. I mean, yeah. they're everywhere. The list goes on. <laughs> but somebody looks familiar. You can take a picture and submit it there and um, and then let, let them do their work. They'll check it out for you. They'll That's see right. if it is. Let them make contact. Contact. That's what law enforcement's there for. So they'll make contact with that individual and make sure it is or it isn't, you know, that person. There's a lot of uh, doppelgangers, that's what they call them. Yes. Out there. <laughs> and, <laughs> and they happens. are, and it happens. It, it happens. happens. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we ultimately will make a good identification yeah. as long as the information that's provided by mm -hmm. you helps us do that. And and mm -hmm. just for instance, just, just last week alone, we met, the board yeah. met, and $3,500 worth of tips were approved. I and that's a lot of it money. It was one of the thickest <laughs> folders we've seen. And we also discussed that board meeting wanting to kind of preach a little more about the number that you're assigned. Absolutely. And that. Mm -hmm. Folks, if you don't hold on to that password and you don't hold on to your tip number, there is no way for you to follow through with that reward. And we want to preach. Mm -hmm. Once we let you know mm -hmm. that your tip is good, go get your reward. It's sitting right there in the bank. What, where they tell you to go pick it up. Yep. I mean, you're in constant communication with the tipsters. They know where it's at. Go get it. Um, it it's, it's there for about 30 days. Yes. 
We, we want you to have it. Yeah. If it exceeds 30 days and the reward was not there, contact again. Mm -hmm. You can go online under your tip number, contact me. Mm -hmm. It's anonymous. Uh, let me know that, hey, um, my reward wasn't there. If it's expired past the 30 days, we reissue the check. After 90 days, you've disqualified yourself. The, the reward itself has expired. And we, and we run into that a lot. People will say, well, I didn't get my money. Well, because they probably lost that number. Absolutely. We don't know who you are. I mean, you just can't go around giving money to whomever. Mm -mm. It, it goes by a system. Or they let that 90 days expire. Um, and we were also talking about the student Crime Stoppers. They've been doing so well lately that they've got the program out in all the Escambia County schools and they've been contacting yes. through there. And, and gosh, you're just giving out rewards left and right through that. But absolutely, a lot of them aren't aren't picking them up. And we don't know. Sometimes people just want to be good citizens. You just you just want to We're be not going to begrudge good. you that. If, if you yeah. don't, if you're not interested in the reward, then that's fine. Mm -hmm. But again, Amber and I constantly want people that have cooperated and mm -hmm. helped us mm -hmm. uh, by giving tips. We want you to have the reward. Yeah, it's you there. Know? It's we do. We want you to have it. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I, you know, yeah. I just think it's more of an incentive. And, you know, that good old fashioned yeah. free money, and it really <laughs> truly is free. Beach season's coming up. You might need a new beach chair. You might need a new bathing suit, some sunscreen, an umbrella. Absolutely. I mean, you can think <laughs> of so many things that you might need to get this year, make it new, trade it out. Yeah. You know, that salt water got to last year's equipment. <laughs> you exactly. Need some new equipment. And what better way than to use that Crime Stoppers money and replenish that and have some nice beach days out of it? That's right. Mm -hmm. So, with this week's fugitives, remember everybody, these fugitives are wanted. They have been verified with active warrants and active civil commits as of February the 19th, 2019. And again, if you spot somebody, call Crime Stoppers, keep them two numbers, and uh, yep. collect your money. <laughs> uh, first, one of fugitive of this evening is Michael Cartledge. Michael's 42 years old. He's one of a burglary of an unoccupied structure. He was unarmed during this burglary, and he has a bond of $4,500. So he just walked up into somebody's place. <laughs> decided he was going to just just invade somebody's privacy and take their stuff. And you can't take what's not yours, Absolutely. Michael, and we would think by your age you'd know that. So we'd hope at this point in time you'd do the right thing, turn yourself in. Yep. If he doesn't, you know, somebody else will. Absolutely. Get that money. <laughs> Nicholas uh, Depew. Nicholas is 36. He's wanted for burglary also, as well as grand theft. And Nicholas has a bond of $20,000. Y'all keep in mind out there, you know, if you're even contemplating wanting to commit a burglary, think again. It's a second degree felony, folks. Look at those bonds. Yeah, Oof. grand theft is a third degree felony. Yeah. And these carry substantial mm -hmm. prison sentences, as well as fines. And it's just not worth it. Not at all. You know, mm. whatever's going on with you, think real hard mm -hmm. about it. But if you know where Nicholas is, think about calling Crime Stoppers. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> you know how to get a hold of us. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Our next one of fugitive is Jermon English. He's 45. Jermon is uh, one of her moving traffic violations. He has a driving while license suspended. This is his third offense. And he has a bond of $2,500. Now he already knew mm -hmm. that license was suspended. Yeah. And then he did it again. Still on the drive. Just, there's so many other ways to get around here in Escambia County. We've got um, pretty good transportation. We've got ECAT, you've got taxi cabs, you've got Uber, you've got Lyft. I mean, there's bicycles. There's friends, family. Or get your license valid. <laughs> I mean, that's always an option. The if DMV, you enjoy it's driving. right there on W Street, the tax collector's office. You can <laughs> pop on in there. Pay them fines. <laughs> Get it done. That's right. That's, to me, would be the easiest. But That's it. You know. Mm -hmm. Our next one of Fugitive is Alexa Gobble. Alexa's 21, and she uh, is wanted for failure to appear with no bond. Now, her yeah. hair is probably subject to change. She's probably colored it a different color, maybe That's a different right. hairstyle. But you can't miss her. She's out there. Yes. Um, and that failure to appear. Yeah. Just problem missing court dates. You, but. you got, you don't, you never disrespect a judge's time. And that's yeah. exactly what that says right there. Absolutely. And that's why she got that big old no bond. So Alexa, you're mm -hmm. 21. This is not a great way to start out your adult no, life. No. Um, There's still know. time. Yeah. Get it taken care of. It doesn't go away. Mm -hmm. And if Alexa don't want to do it, folks, help her out. Call Crime mm -hmm. Stoppers. 
-hmm. Our next one of fugitive is Antoine Montez Lewis Jr. He's one for aggravated battery and he also has a separate violation of probation that carries a no bond. This aggravated battery charge is $48,000 bond on it. And Antoine, he's very young. He's 22 years old. This is why we tell you to never make contact with anyone that yes. you've seen featured on Wanted Fugitives. His These type of charges. His charges say it all. He is a violent person. You don't want to go up to him or approach him in any way. Anybody that right. you see us ever advertise, uh, train law enforcement. That's what they're paid to do. That's what they're trained to do. Let them go in there and handle that, and then you collect that money. That's right. It's just that simple, folks. But we mm -hmm. don't want anybody to put themselves no, in harm's way. We've got enough mm -hmm. trainees on the street and new yeah. officers. Um, they're just ready to get out there. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in the event um, you see Antoine anywhere, just mm -hmm. call Crime Stoppers and we'll take care of the rest. Our next one of fugitive is Shanice McMillan. Shanice is 25 years old and she's wanted for a vehicle theft and she has a bond of $5,000 and you know again vehicle theft it's mm -hmm. pretty self-explanatory you mm -hmm. didn't get permission and you took a vehicle and you didn't bring it back when you were supposed to or you just took it period which and both are dumb decisions. She doesn't look happy about it. I wouldn't be either. You knew you did something you knew you weren't supposed to do. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And these are very simple decisions, folks, yeah. but it's it's also uh, um, things that can be avoided, but you chose not to. Um, mm -hmm. Next up would be Rebecca Owens. Rebecca's 41, failure to appear, uh, no bond, and again, knew better. She had a court date, failed to show. Those, I, I just don't get those. I don't either. I don't get it either. They give you a time, they give you a date. You're supposed to show up. You're supposed to be there. Um, you don't. It, it's just, it makes everything a little more tough. Yes, just, it does. You're just making things worse for yourself. Mm -hmm. Our next one of Fugitive is Adam Showalter. Adam is 33. He's one of her vehicle theft with a bond of $6,000. Folks, if you borrow somebody's car, bring it back. It's not yours. Yeah, and folks that have had their vehicles taken, keep keep watch on your keys. Yeah, especially. Yeah. We're gonna do one more before we go to break, mm -hmm. and that's uh, Christopher Showers. He's 44. He's wanted for his third petty theft, which now makes it a felony. And he has a bond of $2,000. And remember, that three strike rule does apply to petty thefts, folks. First time, second time, third time's the char uh, charm. It doesn't yeah. matter if it's a snicker bar. It's going to be a felony. Ooh. So it's not worth it. And with no. that, while we are on break, we're going to go ahead. We want you to uh, log on to our Facebook page and yeah, like us. Absolutely. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Well, we will go ahead real quick mm -hmm. and get through the one of fugitive list. We still have uh, our deadbeat parents, and we've got some upcoming events that yes. we want to tell you about. Mm -hmm. So our next one of fugitive is Cordero Lamonte Silas. He's 32. He's wanted for aggravated assault and burglary, and Cordero has a bond of no, no bond. No, he doesn't have a bond. That's it. Yeah. Nope. Well, and again, I guess with that <laughs> aggravated kind. assault um, and burglary, I mean, you, I don't it sounds know. pretty dangerous. Not, not mm. to be to be mm. such a young man. I mean, clearly he is young. He's got a baby face. Bless his heart. Like he, mm, that's sad. That always yeah. breaks my heart when you see him. You know, that young. Definitely, some better choices could have been yeah. made. Yeah. Hopefully, mm -hmm. he will eventually. Uh, Straighten up and Straighten get, up. get his life on track. That's yeah. what we can hope for. Our next one of fugitive is Chris Allen Thompson. Chris is wanted for vehicle theft. I tell you, burglary and vehicle thefts, they've it, been there's the a trend. There's a trend today, and I like how they threw that 27 cents on his bond. Yeah, clearly this was um, the amount of the vehicle, so I'm, mm -hmm. I'm uh, in 
that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Bond um, amount there. Bond amount. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris is uh, 35 years old, and um, again, he's wanted for vehicle theft. Could have been avoided. Um, I'm not really sure of all the details, yeah. but that was a horrible decision. So if anyone mm -hmm. out there knows where Chris Thompson is, please contact Crime Stoppers. Let us know. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And our final one of fugitive of this segment is Jessica Lee Van Slyke. I think I'm going to say about it right. that way. Yeah. Uh, Jessica's 32 years old. She's one of her failure to appear with no bond. And again, um, it, show up. I, you it, know? We preach it. I, I think this episode's been the burglaries, the vehicle theft, and failure to appear. I mean, like, and then there's some where it's all fraud. It, some you shows never, are all fraud. You it's never crazy. know. But again, show up. They well, don't just give you that for, for grins. They, they want you there. <laughs> Absolutely, and we try to always on one of fugitives. The one of fugitives that we feature, we also try to show them a wheel of fugitives, yeah. and we encourage everyone to watch that. Yeah, that airs every uh, Wednesday, uh, not only on our our media partner WEAR and Blabs media partner WEAR, it also um, airs on our Facebook page. So if you miss it there, page. you can always go back and catch on our Facebook page or our YouTube channel where we like to keep all of those. So follow us in both places. Check out our YouTube. There's some pretty cool videos we've got going on there. Yeah, and, and we do keep it updated. Um, it's a great way to, go. it gives you yeah. a reason not only to keep informed of what's going on within yeah. the community, but like us, invite your yeah. friends to like us as well as PPDs and, yeah. you know, Crime Stoppers. That's it. And you'll always be in the know, so to speak. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right, well, this is where I turn it over to my uh, co-anchor, I guess. That's yes, what we call, you know, it. each other. Um, <laughs> and she's going to take it away. Yep, so we've got our deadbeat <laughs> parents coming up. So let's go ahead and jump on in. We've got a Christopher Ball. He's 49 years old with a purge amount of $620. He does not look happy. No, I just looked don't. up and caught that glare out of the corner of my eye. I mean, I, I guess it's almost like he's looking at the purge amount. It is. <laughs> <laughs> but he did that. He didn't pay. That's right. And that's it. So you need to start paying that, Christopher. You've got kids that are needing that money. Absolutely. Give them a sideways look. Then we've got Joshua Jamal Bell, 35 years old, uh, with a purge amount of a little more than $1,200. And this isn't our highest purge amount on this episode either. So he's, that, that number is just going to keep creeping up. I Absolutely. hate to tell Joshua it's how it works so start paying on it get it down if you're having problems we get it I say this every episode people come on rough times I understand we've all been there we've all had issues with with money at some point I mean, absolutely we have all been there if you're human you have it's, it's just a thing but you know what that judge doesn't know that unless you're communicating so please communicate that with them and maybe they can help you with that purge amount um, exactly but if, if you don't say anything you end up on this show and that number keeps accruing then we've got Mitchell Eddins, 38 years old, with a purge amount of $820. He's got that look, too. I don't know what that's about today. Then we've got Stephen Fogey, 58 years old, with a purge amount of $820. Come on, Stephen. At 58, really? Mm -mm. You know. You, you know. Yep. You need to do what you need to do. There are no words for that. There's just not. Pay. Pay. Pay it for your kids. Then we've got William Graham, 44 years old, with a purge amount of a little more than $1,000. But again, there's, there's when I see these numbers, I just think of the kids. Yeah. Here we go. Guy Harvey, <laughs> 49 years old. He's just as shocked as I am. It's, that's not Guy Harvey. <laughs> right. <laughs> that is not. No. That's not the Guy Harvey we know. But this Guy Harvey, unfortunately, does have the highest purge amount in this episode. Um, and some active warrants out there. What wow. Happens? Yeah, so uh, get them taken care of. <sighs> yeah, I mean, again, li like we always say, you know, uh, call Crime Stoppers. Deadbeat parent alone, civil commit. Start you out already. 150 bucks. Bang, Guaranteed right, right there. Right there. That's it. And then, if, and then if, let's say, hypothetically, Guy Harvey is caught in the act of something else, he has, um, you know, or drugs on him or anything like that. That'll be more charges, and that amount just climbs from there. So um, that's kind of how it works. That's why we can never guarantee a certain amount. We always say up to that's uh, right. three thousand because we don't. We don't. We if don't we could tell them. the future, then we wouldn't be looking for them. We'd already know where they are. We'd know where mm -hmm. they're in our crystal ball, checking it out. <laughs> 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 our next one is James Hayes, thirty-four years old, with a purge amount of a little more than a thousand dollars. All right, James. Yeah. Then we have Harold Hine, 
40 years old with a purge amount of $570. He looks serious. He needs to get serious about that purge amount. Absolutely. And again, like Amber was saying, it's it's pretty clear. If you do fall on hard times, mm -hmm. folks, contact Family Court. Step exactly. up. Be responsible. Mm -hmm. Save yourself a lot of issues uh, down the road with mm -hmm. a balance that just will continue mm -hmm. to go up. Mm -hmm. That whole, <laughs> if I can't see it, it can't see me, that's that's not realistic. We're not children anymore. We know that doesn't work. You can't just no. turn a blind eye and act like it's not happening. It is. The paperwork's saying it is. That purge amount's going up and saying it is. So things are clicking, letting you know that it's not going away. No. And uh, I tell you, I do want to mention this because, yeah. I mean, that wraps mm -hmm. up our deadbeat parents. Yeah. But uh, we do want everyone, again, to watch The Wheel of Fugitives, yeah. watch One of Fugitives, keep your eye out. Mm -hmm. But we had the funnest time with our... Uh, our CLIA class, yes. our Citizens Law Enforcement Academy. Yes. They are a fun bunch and love to, uh, to spin the wheel. And um, we love having people join Citizens Law Enforcement Academy. We're right in the middle of one right now, but yeah. we'll have another one starting up soon. So you can always follow us on our Facebook page or on our uh, website to find out when those dates are coming up. We'll let you know on this show. We'll, we'll, try, we'll get it out there every way we can to let you know. But the cool thing about that class is they get to learn everything about their sheriff's office. Yeah, There's everywhere. a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah. From the different units to the actual mm -hmm. history of mm -hmm. the sheriff's office, which I even learned something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when I uh, mm -hmm. was attending CLIA as a presenter. Yeah. So it was really neat to kind of get some back history on the department. Mm -hmm. um, that I, I, I had no idea. It's so pretty cool stuff. We are pretty cool And here. you might get a chance to actually spin the wheel and I get to see your face on Channel 3 and on our Facebook page. It's pretty cool. They love that opportunity. In they class. do. <laughs> they do. Everybody yeah. loves to spin the wheel. They want to know. And I think they honestly yeah. thought that we stopped it. They the found out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> that we did not. The wheel selects. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it is the wheel's choice. We have nothing to do with it. And even sometimes we crack ourselves up because it'll pick the same person six times and that is just, it's meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> it's a sign. When the wheel <laughs> wants you, it will get you. <laughs> That's right. And then before you know it, you're on the digital billboard, you're all over social media and you're like, oh, please take me down. Yeah. Nowhere to go. Exactly. But we do have, like I said, the Citizens Law Enforcement Academy. We're in the middle of one right now. We'll have another one coming up. We do have other events that are coming up. We've got our Cops and Kids. That's going to be on March 9th. That's a Saturday. It's at, at Ashton Brosnanham Park and yep. it's from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Such a fun event. They'll love it. Kids will love it. It's so fun. You get, there's a free picnic, hamburgers and hot dogs are yeah. served out there, free drink. Um, not to mention our canine units out there. They're doing their whole demonstration. We've got our crime scene out there. They do um, coloring with the cops. So they yeah. get coloring books out and the kids can color. There's a lot of, inter a lot of interactive displays. Yeah. Uh, they get to chase a suspect. Yeah. Through bells of hay. <laughs> They're fast. And they are, and it's it's fun, but it also shows uh, the kids out there that when they need somebody, when they're in trouble or anything, that you know, first responders are there. That's right. Um, that they can come. That we're not strangers. We're not people to be afraid of. If you see somebody in a uniform, it's a good way to teach your children. Hey, you know, these are the people you approach. You lose mom and dad or grandma and grandpa in a crowded place. You see somebody in this uniform, you go find them. Go Absolutely. to them. So it shows them a different side because a lot of times they see if they have experiences with law enforcement at a young age, it's probably not the best. It's probably, you know, mom or daddy's getting pulled over in yeah. traffic. You know, that's never fun or um, any, anything else that's not really great experiences. So this is something that they get to see a whole other side and that good experience with law enforcement. So that's come right. on out, visit us. Cops and Kids, March 9th, Ashton Brosnahan Park from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We'll be out there. That's right. It'll be Always. <laughs> we'll have the tent, giveaways. It'll be yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. A good day. So hopefully it's pretty that day. And what I like about that location, they do have that awning. So if there's a lot of, you know, you got your little ones out there and you're like, oh, it might be a little yeah. hot or the sun's out. You know, there's some place to get some reprieve from it. But hopefully it's a nice breezy day. We'll yeah, pray. you know it's Pensacola. Fingers Even crossed. when it's supposed to be winter, it's really summer. <laughs> <laughs> I know in February I'm wearing shorts and sweating. Or in the middle of a thunderstorm. <laughs> you just never know what you're going to get here. <laughs> that is true. And then we have our Safety in the Place of Worship. That's March 26th at 5.30 p.m. You can always sign up for that on our website at escambiaso.com. Now that's going to teach you, um, you know, any kind of um, religious group that you might be a part of or any kind of church or synagogue or anything like that you might attend. It's just a good way to come and learn how to make that place a safer place. So that's when you're right. there, and it's just like it says, when you're there worshiping, and, and um, you know, doing your Sunday 
tradition yep. that you feel you have a safe place to go. So to learn more about that, you can always email us at PIO at EscambiaSO.com or visit our website, EscambiaSO.com, to learn more about any of the events we talked about today. Well, and before we go, we do want to thank our viewers. Um, we appreciate the support in the community, and I hope everybody has a safe week. Yes. Uh, if you see anybody, you be sure and call Crime Stoppers, <laughs> and we'll see you back. See ya.